Hello and welcome to another Dr. Spotfire quick tip video. My name is Jose de Aguirre and today I'm going to show you another way, another version on how to create cascading drop down lists. But in this version, I'm going to show you how to make multiple selections, not only one. On my previous Dr. Spotfire quick tip video, I have uh, these single drop downs where I can select my region, then I can select my state, and then the next uh, drop down is going to be populated by the rest of the cities uh, that precede the selected state but in this new version i have converted those drop downs into multiple selection controls so now i can select more than one region more than one state and more than one city uh, by control and uh, pressing the control key and, and making my, my selection so let me show you uh, how i did it um, so let's edit the text area double click on my drop down and what I'm going to do is just change the drop down list into multiple select and then you're probably going to see uh, nothing here if you don't have that document property the document pro property is going to change but I already created this document property hold an array of values the other document property holds only one value and that's why you see that is missing the configuration here so I already created those uh, document properties so I'm going to select the selected regions that are going to hold my selection and make sure that I'm going to use the unique values in column. So I select my region right here and then I see the values that are going to be right here. Okay, um, now let's go to the next one. Same thing. So the only changes I'm doing here is uh, changing to a multiple select drop down and then uh, creating a new document property and for this one is going to be the states and I'm going to make sure that I use the filter states um, calculator column. I also did a change on the calculator column that I'm going to walk you through once I finish making changes for the rest of the dropdowns. So for the last one, same process, change to multiple select, create a document property if you don't have it selected already for the cities and then Create, uh, select the filter cities for, from the unique values on the column and that's now you now we have complete you can change the formatting you can make it a uh, wider taller by formatting the control and that's something that you can do later on but now let me walk you through the, the calculator column let me show you calculator columns i go to my column properties and uh, the old version for example filter state with a single drop down looks like this so it's just comparing the selection of my dropdown into my region. But for the new uh, filter states, what I did instead was to replace that uh, expression with this other one. So I am using the map. Uh, let me edit and make it bigger. So I control and use the mouse wheel to make it to make it bigger. So what I did here is just use the map uh, function and pass the selected regions. My previous document property is selected region and the array, I added an S just to make the distinctions where it's multiple selection. So this is going to search any selection. And this, if this condition is true in, during my if clause is my first argument, it's going to select the states and that's how I get my filter, filtered states. So you can see here a preview of how this part renders into a comma separated values of selection. So in this case, I have uh, just east, but let's see if I select, if I make multiple selections, let, let, let's look at the at this other one. So that's, uh, uh, let's look at the uh, actual, actually filter cities because filter city is, depends on these two previous documents. So filter city looks like this. The old version is like this. It's just making a, a single comparison, pretty similar to the filter states. So the filter cities, new version with multiple selections, looks like this. Let me make it bigger. And now you can see how these, um, how these renders. That's, uh, that's it. That's basically how it works. And um, so it's up to you how you use it, but I just want to show you how to use a cascading dropdown list using multiple values. Thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick tip videos and see you next time.